potent drug in the area of antibiotics, and he was audacious enough to name it after his own surname, and the world will be using this medication under his surname. Welcome to our channel where we bring you global happenings and breaking news. Please kindly subscribe to our channel. Remember to click the notification bell so that our uploads will come directly to you. Let's lead you into this global breaking event. So he is based in America and he studied in Nigeria before leaving and he is involved in microbiologic uh, biology research and he invented a medication that will work in the field of antibiotics and he named it after himself. So his name is Dr. Anieto and he has a research background focusing on bioenergy, antimicrobial resistance, food microbiology, bioinformatics, food safety, antibiotics and the rest of them. And he is an associate professor in microbiology at Texas A&M University in the United States. And he has invented a device that will save millions of lives. He is the inventor of anietocin. Be mindful of the name anietocin, which comes from his own name, anieto. An antibiotic that will be used to treat antibiotic resistance microbial infections. And the new drug is completely named after his Nigerian family roots. According to the University of Texas A&M, the rapid emergence of antibiotic resistance bacteria is occurring worldwide, endangering the efficacy of antibiotics, which have transformed medicine and save millions of lives. The antibiotic resistance crisis has been attributed to the misuse of these medications as well as the lack of new drug development efforts. So basically we know that some people when they use antibiotics after over time uh, there is kind of resistance. Now when they take antibiotics it doesn't work um, anymore. So it has been an issue and now this Nigerian man has come up with a solution that will solve this problem so that the body can continue to utilize antibiotics when it's applied or when one takes it. So Dr. Nieto strongly believes that pharmaceutical companies can utilize this bacterium and maximize its effectiveness to treat prevailing bacterial infections in patients. His team is currently improving the chemical extraction process of this novel antibiotic and understanding the metabolomics of the bacterium to address large-scale manufacturing opportunities. He was born in Onisha in Anambra State and Dr. Nieto attended Dennis Memorial Grammar School and St. Charles Special Science School both in Onisha and for his teacher education he gained admission into Nandiaziko University in Oka, where he got a Bachelor of Science in Applied Microbiology. After his one-year composing National Youth Service Corps in Niger State, he joined USC Foods in Lagos. Lured by further academic qualifications, he resigned from USC and returned to Nandiaziko University to pursue a master's degree in food microbiology. On obtaining his master's, he picked a lecturing job at Mwafo Rizu College of Education in Subwe and applied for a job at Anambra State University in Uli, which he did not acknowledge the application until he got the visa to the UK, where he became a visiting research associate at the School of Medicine, University of Newcastle. From the United Kingdom, Dr. Neto moved to the United States, where he obtained his PhD in molecular biology from the University of North Texas, Denton. He became graduate teaching assistant in general microbiology at the University of North Texas in 2016 to 2019. He taught online courses on environmental conservation and other assigned courses. He joined the College of Science of Texas A&M University Higher Education Center in August 2018. He is fondly called Ugo by close friends, and he obtained his 
Doctor of Philosophy, PhD in Molecular Biology from that university, and also Certificate Program in Structural Technology from Texas A&M University. Before he became an Instructional Assistant Professor at Texas A&M University, he was a Visiting Research Associate at the University of Newcastle upon Tyne in the United Kingdom, and he relocated to the U.S. where he worked as a Graduate Teaching Assistant at the General Microbiology University of North Texas in Denton. All right, so this is a brief uh, biography of this guy. And um, he did well for himself, I must uh, commend him. It is audacious when you discover something like this that you name it after yourself. There's no inferiority complex involved. And some of us do not actually know that most of the things we use are named after the people who discovered them or who invented them or who started their production or manufacturing. And we use them, we sing these names every day without knowing. We in Nigeria here, we are used to Toyota cars. Is an a man's name. This year, Mr. Toyota, in a, from Japan. Suzuki is named after somebody. Yamaha, Hyundai, all those things that we use every day. They are named after human beings. Hewlett Packard, that we use, and the rest of them. So why not? If you are able to discover it, name it after yourself. Let the world use it. You can give it any name. The important thing is that it serves the purpose for which it is meant. We know of um, a car brand in Nigeria and the man was smart enough to copy the Japanese and the Americans after we have Ford. Ford is from a family name, the Ford family. So this guy started his own vehicle manufacturing and they called it Innocent, IVM. Yes, his name is Innocent Chukuma and he gave it Innocent. The Dangotes, we use their cement and we are calling Dangote cement. Sometimes you even forget that it's some, a human being's name that you are calling. But this one is rather on a global scale, you know. Being in the United States, discovering it there, he took his uh, local name. Anieto, and they became Anietosin. So, I don't care what the name is. If Anietosin will solve my problem, if I have any issue with antibiotics, why not? The, 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 the more Nigerian the name is, it's even the sweeter. So, it gives me confidence and gives us, um, I mean, we glorify that, yes, he's one of, our, of us. So, that's what is uh, happening. That's Dr. Anieto from Anambra State. Did a lot of studies in Nigeria, locally in Anambra State, in Zeke, went to the United Kingdom, Newcastle upon time. From there, he moved to the United States, uh, Texas A&M University. And uh, here we are. He has done well for himself and um, brought glory to Nigeria. Thank you for tuning in. If you like this story, please share it with your friends. Remember to subscribe and click on the notification bell. See you in our next video.